Shirley Temple was a very famous actress from old movies. She had a big impact on the entertainment world. If you have any interesting stories or memories about her, feel free to share them below. We'll be sharing some surprising and emotional facts about her in a video, so keep an eye out for that. Shirley Temple was a beloved actress known for her roles in classic films. Some of her most famous projects include Bright Eyes, where she played the adorable orphan Curly Top, in which she showcased her singing and dancing talents, and Heidi, a heartwarming tale of a young girl in the Swiss Alps. For those new to her work, these movies are excellent starting points to appreciate her talent and charm. Additionally, The Little Princess is another must-watch, offering a touching story set in a boarding school. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm is another delightful film showcasing her infectious personality. These movies are perfect examples of Shirley Temple's iconic performances and are sure to delight audiences of all ages. In summary, Shirley Temple's filmography is filled with timeless classics that continue to entertain audiences today. Whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering her work, these must-watch movies are guaranteed to bring joy and laughter. Shirley Temple, known for her roles in movies like Heidi and Stowaway, showcased her talent and creativity in various films. In Tequila by ALT and The Lost Civilization, she is referenced, reflecting her cultural impact. As Heidi and Heidi, she proposed the inclusion of the In Our Little Wooden Shoes scene, adding liveliness to the film. In Stowaway, she portrayed Ching Ching, receiving Chinese dialogue tutoring from Bessie Ni, nee, a UCLA student. However, the extras on set struggled to understand her Mandarin lines as they primarily spoke Cantonese. Despite linguistic challenges, Temple's performances left a lasting impression on audiences, showcasing her adaptability and dedication to her craft. When she was just six years old, she made history by winning a special award at the Academy Awards for Kids, becoming the youngest ever to get such a prize. During the award ceremony, she got tired and asked her mom if they could leave because she'd been waiting for her award for a long time. People found this moment sweet, and it made them like her even more. Later, she had a chance to get a big role in a movie called The Blue Lagoon, which could have been a big deal for her career. But she couldn't do it because of money problems that she couldn't control. Even though she missed this chance, people still saw how talented she was, and they thought she could play all kinds of roles, not just the ones she usually did. Then she got a role in a movie called Heidi, where some people worried that her co-star might be better known and steal the spotlight. But they worked really well together on screen, making each other's performances even better. This success led them to work together again in another movie. This showed that she wasn't just good at acting, but also good at getting along with people in the movie business. Throughout her career, she showed that she could work well with others and be really good in her roles, keeping people interested with her charm and talent. From winning her special award when she was a kid to dealing with problems and getting roles, she proved she was strong and really cared about acting. Her reputation as a big name in Hollywood, marked by her special achievements and memorable roles, shows how much she's influenced the movie world. Clarence, often likened to the Shirley Temple of Lions, was adored for his gentle demeanor and stunning golden mane. He roamed the savannah with grace, captivating all who saw him and commanded respect from both his pride and human admirers. Shirley Temple's second husband, Charles Black, was a businessman and consultant on maritime issues. He helped start a company that made deep ocean imaging systems, changing how we understand the ocean's depths. Despite his impressive achievements, he stayed humble, preferring the satisfaction of his work over fame. He passed away at 86 from bone marrow disease, which he had for three years before. He left behind a mark of innovation and dedication to his field. Shirley appeared in only one Best Picture Oscar-nominated film since she went away in 1944. The movie touched audiences with its portrayal of life on the home front during wartime, and Shirley's performance stood out among the talented cast. Her impact on the film industry went beyond that one role, inspiring filmmakers and viewers for generations with her charm and talent. In 1972, Shirley Temple took on the role of special assistant to the chairman of the President's Council on Environment. During her service, she underwent a radical mastectomy. In the film Since She Went Away, she portrayed Brig Hilton, marking the only Best Picture Oscar-nominated film featuring her. According to her autobiography, when seeking her mother's consent to marry her first husband, John Agar, Shirley was surprised to learn that her parents and 20th Century Fox had concealed her true age for years. 
She was actually two years older than the public believed, causing an unresolved rift in her family. In summary, Shirley Temple's involvement in environmental affairs and her notable role in Since You Went Away are significant aspects of her career. The revelation about her true age, as disclosed in her autobiography, sheds light on the complexities within her personal life. Shirley Temple portrayed Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess. Jack Lindquist, who later became the first president of Disneyland, appeared beside her as one of the two-page boys in the film's dream sequence. On August 4, 2019, she was honored with a day dedicated to her film work during the Turner Classic Movies Summer Under the Stars. Bill Robinson, also known as Bojangles Robinson, was her idol when she was a child, and she had the opportunity to work with him on four pictures. Her collaboration with Robinson was a significant moment in her career, reflecting her admiration for him as an artist. Her performance as Sarah Crewe and her work alongside Robinson are notable highlights in her filmography. In 1950, Shirley Temple earned an incredible $321 million. Adjusted for inflation, that's about $35.57 million in 2021. However, as she left acting, she had only about $44,000 in her trust, along with the deed to her $45,000 dollhouse. After her role as Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess, there's an interesting aspect of her behavior on set. Not just acting, she wanted to be part of the crew. She asked for a time card like theirs to punch in and out of her work hours. The director gave her a studio-issued time recorder. Even though she got a custom timekeeping machine from IBM with her picture on the cards, she stuck to the standard ones. She preferred tradition over personalization, showing her connection with the crew. The Little Princess was a big deal for Shirley Temple. It was her first full-color film. The colors made her character and the world of the film come alive. Her journey as a young actress had its challenges, but these unique parts made her story even more interesting. Beyond Hollywood's glamour, her experience on The Little Princess and her simple timekeeping showed her real dedication to her work and her wish to be part of the filmmaking team. And so, the story of Shirley Temple's finances, her unusual timekeeping, and her Technicolor success leave a lasting impact on Hollywood history. Shirley Temple, famous for playing Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess, brought charm and innocence to the silver screen. In a memorable scene, a parrot replaced the planned monkey companion due to compatibility issues with the young actress, showcasing her professionalism in adapting to the change and maintaining the magic of the moment. During the scene where Sarah playfully dumps ashes on Lavinia, despite her desire for a redo, the director overruled her, highlighting her dedication to her craft and commitment to her character's actions. At the tender age of five years and ten months, Shirley received a special award, making her the youngest actor to achieve such recognition in cinema history. Her talent and charisma captivated audiences worldwide, leaving a lasting impression on the hearts of generations. Shirley Temple's portrayal of Sarah Crewe in the movie remains a timeless treasure, loved by all who have experienced its magic. Shirley Temple starred as Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess, her first all-Technicolor film. At the time, she was America's top box office star, but her reign was ending. Despite this, 20th Century Fox spared no expense, investing $1 million in the production. Adapted from a beloved children's book, the film was a lavish endeavor. It proved to be Temple's final box office hit as a child star. During the filming of Susanna of the Mounties in 1939, the Blackfoot tribe bestowed upon her the Indian name Bright Shining Star. On November 1, 26, she suffered a fall at her Northern California home, resulting in a broken wrist. Shirley Temple, known for her roles in movies like Heidi and Red Haired Alibi, had a close bond with Buddy Ebsen, who was also her dance partner. In Heidi, there's a memorable scene where she gets butted by a goat. During filming, she was butted a few times before her mother insisted on a stunt double for safety. Red-haired alibi marked her debut in feature films. Shirley Temple's career was marked by notable collaborations and early successes. Buddy Ebsen played a significant role in her journey as her best friend and dancing partner. Her talent and charm quickly made her a beloved figure on screen. Shirley Temple tried out for our gang twice, but didn't make it. She was already acting in baby burlesques when she auditioned the second time. The director said no to her mom's request for star billing. In The Little Princess, she played Sarah Crewe. After filming, the boss wanted more scenes, spending $300,000 extra. That made the movie cost over $1M, the most expensive one she did back then. Following her time on set, she met Charles Black in Honolulu. 
Initially, she found their encounter cheesy, but she fell for him right away. Charles worked for a shipping company there. Their meeting marked the beginning of a significant chapter in her life, one filled with romance and adventure. Their connection blossomed amidst the backdrop of the beautiful Hawaiian scenery, weaving a tale of love against the tranquil waves and swaying palms. Shirley's heart found solace in the warmth of Charles's embrace amidst the distant echoes of the sea. Their story, a timeless romance etched in the sands of time, captured the imagination of many. And so, their journey began, scripted by destiny and fueled by love's gentle embrace, a narrative that would transcend generations. Shirley Temple portrayed Heidi in the movie Heidi. She acted alongside Delmer Watson, who played Peter. Before this, they had acted together four years earlier in To the Last Man. After signing with Fox, she grew close to Will Rogers. When Rogers tragically died in a 1935 airplane crash, she was deeply saddened for days. Joseph M. Shank, the studio chief, who was in England at the time, purchased a pony for her. It was shipped to the U.S. on the Queen Mary. When she discovered the pony was to be flown from New York to Los Angeles, she insisted it be shipped by rail to prevent another crash. She presented Walt Disney with a special Academy Award for Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. The award was a standard-sized Oscar with seven smaller Oscars. Shirley Temple's portrayal of Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess is one of her most memorable roles. Alongside her was Eileen Malian, who played the role of Cook. Interestingly, Malian shared the screen with Temple once again in Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, where she took on the character of Mrs. Turner. In The Little Princess, Temple initially brought her own pony for filming, but it proved to be restless and disruptive, leading to its replacement. Unfortunately, this change meant that Temple lost the animal's fee for its appearance in the picture. In Fort Apache, Temple took on a different role, that of Philadelphia Thursday. Directed by John Ford, the film marked another collaboration between him and Temple, as well as Victor McLaglin, who had worked together previously in Wee Willie Winky. Temple's versatility as an actress allowed her to seamlessly transition between different roles, showcasing her talent and range on the silver screen. Her dedication to her craft, evident in every performance, solidified her status as a beloved figure in Hollywood. These details from Temple's career offer glimpses into the behind-the-scenes moments and the connections that often characterize the film industry. They highlight the significance of Temple's work in movies and her lasting impact as one of its brightest stars. Shirley Temple, a notable actress, experienced different childbirth methods with her children. While her first daughter was delivered naturally, her son and her second daughter, Lori Black, were delivered by Caesarean. Despite her fame and success in Hollywood, she faced the same choices and challenges as many other mothers. In 2005, Premier Magazine recognized her impact, ranking her as 33 on a list of the greatest movie stars of all time in their Stars in Our Constellation feature. She had opportunities for significant roles in movies. For instance, she was considered for the role of Veda Pierce in the Joan Crawford drama Mildred Pierce, a role that ultimately went to Anne Blyeth. Her legacy continues to be celebrated, not only for her acting, but also for her influence on Hollywood. Her ability to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression on the industry is undeniable. When she was seven, her life was insured with Lloyds of London, showing how famous she was even as a kid. The contract was carefully written to protect her career. It said she wouldn't get any money if she died or got hurt while drunk because she was so young and the movie business can be tough. In the movie Red-Haired Alibi, she played Gloria Shelton, showing off her talent next to Grant Withers, who played Bob. They were great together on screen and later worked together in Fort Apache. But in that movie, they didn't have scenes together. On September 9, 1936, she got a big new contract from 20th Century Fox. It showed how important she was in Hollywood, paying her over $50,000 for each movie, which was a huge amount back then. These big moments in her career showed how she went from being a talented kid to a big star in Hollywood. People still love her movies today because she was so good at what she did. Her legacy keeps inspiring people all over the world, showing how talented and charming she was. Shirley Temple, the well-known actress, received praise not just for her great performances, but also for her various positive actions beyond acting. She was honored to become a Dame of Malta, a significant achievement getting recognition from a different group, not just the usual Catholic affiliation. Her journey in the spotlight started at Meglin's, a famous academy for young talents, where she met Judy Garland, another promising actress. 
Over the years, her many talents earned her the prestigious Kennedy Center Honors in 1998, a sign of her exceptional achievements. These honors showed her versatility and skills, confirming her status as a shining star in the entertainment industry. They not only celebrated her acting abilities, but also highlighted her significant influence beyond the world of movies. This story reflects the lasting impact of an outstanding individual whose influence goes beyond the silver screen. After the first sneak peeks of a particular movie, the White House requested that any scenes featuring her be taken out. At that time, she was a United States ambassador. Her appearance on screen seemed to hold significance, maybe because of her diplomatic position. In another film, after shooting was over, she adopted a dog from the set and named it after her character. It's a sweet story that shows how much she cared for the roles she played. While working at MGM in 1941, her mother declined several movie offers because she felt they didn't represent her well. It shows how careful her mother was and how she worked hard to make sure her daughter's career went in the right direction. Eventually, she landed a role and sorted out her contract, which was a crucial moment in her journey to fame. Her influence goes beyond just the movies she made. She also made a big impact as a cultural icon and diplomat. Even now, many years later, her name brings back fond memories and respect. Shirley Temple's performance as Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess, a movie made by 20th Century Fox, is still remembered by many. The studio got the rights from Paramount just for her because she was becoming very famous and was very talented. She played the main role and charmed audiences with her personality. It's interesting to note that she was Marina Black's aunt, adding more family connection to her career. In June 2021, Google celebrated her by featuring her in a doodle, recognizing her work in the entertainment industry. She had a big influence and affected how movies and popular culture developed. Her acting didn't just entertain, it also encouraged many people who wanted to be actors. Shirley Temple became more than just a famous person, she became a symbol of hope and strength when times were tough. People all over the world still love her, showing that she left a lasting mark in Hollywood. Her story shows that talent and determination can lead to success in pursuing dreams. This text was nestled in the quiet Brentwood neighborhood of Los Angeles, 231 Rockingham Avenue holds fond memories of Shirley Temple's childhood. The modest residence serves as a reminder of a pastime where she spent her early years. One memorable moment from her acting career happened during her role as Heidi. In a scene where Heidi tries to milk a goat, a surprising squirt of milk splashes her face. This wasn't just acting, it was real. A hidden tube connected to the goat's udder caused the unexpected shower, capturing her genuine reaction. In a candid interview in 1988, she revealed a big difference between Hollywood glamour and her financial reality. Despite earning millions for 20th Century Fox, she only received a small fraction $45,000 in her trust fund. This shows the challenges many actors faced back then. These moments, both on screen and off, give insight into Temple's life, showing the contrast between Hollywood's glitz and the struggles behind it. The surprises on the set of Heidi and the financial inequalities she faced are important parts of Shirley Temple's story. Reflecting on these stories helps us understand her resilience and authenticity in the entertainment world. Her experiences, blending whimsy with reality, continue to captivate audiences. Her story goes beyond the movies, showing the person behind the Hollywood star with all their vulnerability and strength. It's a tale that leaves a lasting mark. Shirley Temple starred as Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess, a movie that was a newer version of a silent-era film featuring Mary Pickford. Pickford, known as America's Sweetheart and The Girl with the Curls, had starred in earlier hits like The Poor Little Rich Girl, Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm, and A Little Princess. Her movies often reused Pickford stories, and studio promoters used her image to shape her Hollywood persona. In The Bachelor and The Bobby Soxer, she played Susan Turner. She was 18 when she started filming, having been married for 10 months, opposite the 42-year-old Cary Grant. Entertainment Weekly ranked her as the 38th greatest movie star of all time. This info was Shirley Temple's father came from a mix of backgrounds, including Scotland, England, the Netherlands, Germany, and Norway. Her mother had German and Irish roots. In the 1960s, she became the head of the program division at the San Francisco Film Festival. But she left because she didn't like the adult content in one movie. After that, she visited the Nut Tree in Vacaville, California. She loved the place and enjoyed the food and atmosphere. 
This break from work refreshed her and gave her energy to keep exploring. She felt inspired by all the experiences life gave her, whether big or small. So she kept going on new adventures with excitement. This story shows how people can stay strong and curious no matter what happens. Known for her role as Heidi in the movie named after her character, she faced an unexpected problem while filming. She accidentally swallowed fake snow, which gave her a sore throat, and paused filming for two days until she felt better. In 2016, the USA honored her by putting her image on a special stamp as part of the esteemed Legends of Hollywood series. Also, the character she played was revisited in the 2011 film J. Edgar, with Emily Allen Lind taking on her role. Her lasting impact on Hollywood is marked by her memorable roles and influence on the film industry. Shirley Temple played Philadelphia Thursday in Fort Apache. At the time of filming, she was married to John Agar. However, their marriage faced public scrutiny later on due to allegations of spousal abuse, infidelity, and alcoholism. In The Bachelor and The Bobby Soxer, she portrayed Susan Turner with Beverly Hills High serving as the filming location for her character's high school. In Heidi, Temple took on the role of the titular character. During filming, Marsha Mee Jones, who played alongside her, was significantly older and taller. Jones later remarked that if she had leaned on Temple during a scene, she might have crushed her. Shirley Temple, the famous actress, is well known for her big role in the movie Little Miss Marker from 1934. She got a nice surprise from Joel McCrea on Easter Sunday in 1936, A Real Bunny, showing how much people liked her. In a radio show called The Bachelor and The Bobby Soxer, which aired on June 13, 1949, she played Susan Turner with Cary Grant. This made more people see her as a talented actress who could play different kinds of roles. Even today, many people still love watching her movies. Shirley Temple's work continues to inspire actors and filmmakers worldwide. This was Shirley Temple, a famous actress, appeared on the Beatles album cover for Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. In the movie Fort Apache, she played Philadelphia Thursday. The film originally cost $28 million to make, she, John Wayne, and Henry Fonda each received $100,000 for their roles, while Victor McLaglin got $75,000. Despite being well-known, she smoked privately but didn't do it in public. She was really good at acting and singing, and people all over the world loved her. Even though she faced difficulties, she kept going and left a big impression on Hollywood. Her performances still inspire actors and actresses today, showing how important she was to movies. She'll always be remembered for the great movies she was in, reminding us of the best times in cinema. Shirley Temple, a former child star, gained fame for her roles in musical films during the 1930s and 1940s. In 1967, she ran for Congress as a Republican and strongly supported sending more troops to Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War. In a 20 episode of The Simpsons titled The Last Tap Dance in Springfield, she was approached to voice a character named Vicki Valentine, a dance instructor who was a famous child star in the 1930s and 1940s, much like her. However, she declined the offer. One of her notable roles was as Sarah Crew in the film adaptation of The Little Princess. The production team went to great lengths to ensure historical accuracy, but filming was paused when it was discovered that some of the costumes she wore had fasteners not invented until 1908. Shirley Temple's career spanned various roles and even political endeavors, showcasing her diverse talents and interests. In 1938, when she was very famous, people accused Shirley Temple, who was just 10 years old, of secretly working for the Communist Party. A congressman named Martin Dyes said things about her that weren't true. People all over the country got upset and almost made him lose his job. The government told Dyes to stop saying bad things about her. Later, in 1974, she became the United States ambassador to Ghana. When she was a teenager, her bodyguard was Louis Dean Palmer, who she called Palm Tree. Even though there were lots of problems when she was young, Shirley Temple didn't let them stop her. She showed how strong and talented she was, and that's why she became a successful diplomat in Ghana. This story about Shirley Temple's journey from being a famous Hollywood kid to a respected diplomat shows how she was able to overcome tough times and achieve great things. Shirley Temple, a much-loved Hollywood figure, was once considered for the role of Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz. However, there's uncertainty surrounding her potential involvement in the movie. One story suggests that 20th Century Fox, the studio she was contracted to, refused to let her work for MGM, the studio making The Wizard of Oz. 
Another tale says MGM doubted if she could handle the singing parts, so they chose Judy Garland instead. Regardless of the exact reasons, Judy Garland got the role and made a big impact on movie history with her performance as Dorothy Gale. On the other hand, Temple found success in other roles, like playing Sarah Crewe in The Little Princess. But her time on screen wasn't without drama. In The Little Princess, Temple's character, Sarah Crewe, clashed with Lavinia, played by Marsha Mee Jones. Jones reportedly got hate mail from Temple's devoted fans who didn't like how Lavinia treated Sarah compared to the kindness Sarah showed in another movie, Heidi. Despite any controversies, Temple left a noticeable mark on Hollywood with her memorable performances and lasting charm entertaining audiences worldwide. Even today, parts of her work remain, like the riding outfit she wore in The Little Princess, which recently sold for a lot of money at auction. Shirley Temple's influence on the golden age of cinema is clear, showing her talent and appeal. In the movie The Bachelor and the Bobby Soxer, she played Susan Turner alongside Myrna Loy, who played her older sister. Even though there was a big age gap of almost 23 years between them, they did a great job showing a sisterly relationship on screen. In The Little Princess, she was Sarah Crew. This was her first time acting in a Technicolor movie. At first, people were worried about the strong lights needed for Technicolor filming because it could be dangerous for Shirley Temple and other kids due to the heat. But they figured out a solution with a Technicolor company and a cinematographer named Arthur C. Miller. They used lower light levels that were safe for everyone. The film also introduced a new fast film for the movie's trailer, which later got used in Gone with the Wind. She also had a quick appearance as a cartoon version of herself in the Disney Donald Duck short film The Autograph Hound. Shirley Temple played a variety of roles that showed how talented and flexible she was, leaving a lasting impression on movies. In 1989, she became the United States Ambassador to Czechoslovakia. This showed her interest in diplomatic matters. She's the last surviving film star mentioned in the song Let's Go to the Movies from the film Annie. This shows she's still remembered in the movie world. Shirley Temple's roles as a child star and ambassador were funny on Saturday Night Live in 1975. In the skit, Ambassador Temple, played by Lorraine Newman, stayed cute while convincing Ghana's president, played by Garrett Morris, not to start wars. This skit showed the funny mix of her past and current jobs. Her journey from a loved child star to a diplomatic figure showed how versatile her career was. The skit on Saturday Night Live was a funny nod to the difference between her child star image and her later diplomatic duties. After a break of two years, the actress made a big comeback to the screen, playing the role of Brig Hilton and Since You Went Away, persuaded by producer David O. Selznick. Embracing her return gracefully, she found herself in a funny situation during a production of Beauty and the Beast. It was there that her daughter jokingly suggested that she, with her charm, might be better suited to play the Beast rather than Beauty. Throughout her career, she faced unexpected challenges, including a strange incident involving a baby alligator owned by Ralph Helfer, an exotic animal trainer. Despite being bitten on the finger, she didn't let it discourage her. She kept going with determination. Her journey was marked not only by her talent, but also by her ability to handle the ups and downs of her career with grace. Despite challenges and family jokes, her commitment to acting remained strong. In Hollywood history, her story shows resilience and dedication. This glimpse into her life shows not only her professional successes, but also the funny stories and obstacles she faced. Her story lives on, leaving a lasting impression on the movie industry and the people who love her work. This is the story of a woman whose journey goes beyond the roles she played, 